It looks like we are going on a cable car. Don't worry, I don't think it is going to be as scary as the one in London. Well, it might be. Look, it's ticking off behind us and it's going up this hill to a, a viewing platform, I think. Well, I think it is a view of the city. That's what it is. Yeah, it said it was the best panoramic view of Dubrovnik. Look at that, it's leaving behind us and it's going to go right up that hill. Okay. So, I think we're going to get our tickets and get on board. Can we have two re train tickets? Okay. Thank you. So, it was 54 euros. And we got a tip from a chap who was heading for the airport bus, which leaves opposite the cable car. So there's a good tip. But the, the tip he gave us was that uh, it's best to buy the tickets at the cable car station rather than one of the agents who will charge a one pound, sorry, a one euro, <laughs> a one euro fifty uh, service fee. Even from the ground station, you get a really good view of the entire city and the sea behind us. Interesting bell at the ground station. So for someone scared of heights like me, what's the best position that I can take? Should I be? Stand going upwards, face in that direction. Face going upwards. Rather okay. than face going down. And then coming down, have it the other way around. I don't know, maybe. Oh, well, we'll just have to work that out. As they say, what goes up must come down. You can walk down, but I'm not doing that. I think for those people that want to go up to the summit, go up those stairs over here. I don't know how far they go. Trepidation building. We are waiting to depart and the cables aren't moving, so I think what happens is they must be waiting until there are enough people at the top and the bottom to fill the two cars, and then obviously they go at the same time. Looks like we're going on board. Shall we stand up? So we are standing facing up because we think that is going to be the least worst option for me because i think last time you were facing i was words. definitely on the other side uh in london and it did make me a bit queasy so let's see the doors are closing
well, we have arrived, and you asked me, what did I think? I didn't look down the entire way, and I no. still... <clears throat> I still feel slightly queasy. So what we have at the top, just when you get out of the cable car, is a viewing platform, glass screened. Mm. Um, but still, I'm going to approach with trepidation, I think. Do you know something? What does it look like to you from here? Because it, it does. It is <laughs> almost the exact shape of Ireland. That is absolutely incredible. And apparently, it is supposedly haunted. Is it really? Because no well, just going back to Ireland, it's it's even got its own Ards Peninsula. Look oh. at that! Incredible. I don't see a Rathlin Island though. And over here we have the mountain range, and in the distance, I guess it's Bosnia and Herzegovina. So here are some passengers that are boarding the cable car on the way back down. So we've come up onto the uh, panoramic terrace. The Croatian flag is flying behind us. What do you think of the view, Paul? I love it. I think it gives you a perspective about what the city looks like from a uh, from like a higher angle. It feels a little bit safer for me here because, as I was saying to Paul earlier on, um, when you come up here, there's not as far to fall. <laughs> there's a platform down there. So I don't mind looking at the view from here, but down there, my heart was in my mouth. Oh look, isn't that the TV tower that we see from our hotel balcony? Yeah, I think so. When you come out of the cable car station, you can hire a buggy to go on the motor terrain. Motorbiking or something? No, it's not a motorbike, it's behind you there, look. It's one of those, it's, like one of those. it's a buggy because it's like sort of um terrain yeah what do you call those things all weather terrain vehicle sort of thing um i don't think we're gonna do that no. though um and i'm not sure if they have a guide or you drive it yourself i think you drive it yourself i think you drive it yourself yeah and you don't want to see my driving or even poles that's even worse sorry <laughs> This looks like a mini amphitheatre. All the world's a stage. There is a restaurant at the top cable car station as well, although I think it's quite expensive. It's a captive audience. This is where I fall down the steps. <laughs> Shouldn't joke about these things, I suppose. What's this cross ahead of us? I think it's like a monument. And look, there's a little hut with a little door in it. What's that? A little hatch. Summer house? <laughs> <laughs> Summer retreat? It's quite stony along here. Mm. That's the restaurant over there again. Must be some sort of monument. Let's take a look. Don't get your neck stuck in this cross wire. There doesn't appear to be any information as to what the cross is, so Paul's looking it up. Any ideas? Um, according to my Google Maps, it just says cross, a huge stone mountaintop cross with a bench and popular vista point overlooking the ocean. Well, that keeps things simple then, doesn't it? It's a cross. Well, that's good advice up there. Do not climb. Well, oh, look, there's the cable car from a different view. Coming up. Ooh, there's the bit where your stomach goes. That bumpy bit. Well, if you thought the cable car was adventurous and the buggies even more so, well, 
this is the icing on the cake. It's a panorama zip line, and I don't think we're going to be doing that. What? Ooh, I'll start, but off she goes. Well, with Ireland behind us, <laughs> uh, what did you think of the panoramic view, Paul? I think it was spectacular. I think it gives you such depth of how big the city is. And I love the color schemes from up here. And I just liked um, pointing out the landscape and where the hotel was. And it's probably given us some ideas of other places to go to because you can just see everything in one fell swoop. And the zip line was actually quite exciting uh, <laughs> because I didn't have to do it myself. It's all right watching other people. But I think for me, the most surprising and amazing thing has been Lockram Island behind us, which uh, I've said it before and I'm, going to, I'm just going to keep on saying it. That's Ireland. It is. It's time for the return journey. I've got my ticket. So we place it like this and walk through. So I'm taking it even easier on the way down I'm sitting so as I don't have to really look out at all. Well, that is the cable car trip over and done with. Um, I'm going to look back at the highlights that I took without looking down myself because it would have really made my stomach churn over and over. Really? Yes, it would. It would. Yeah, I mostly had my eyes fixed on people's feet on the floor. <laughs> Thanks for watching the show today. If you like what you see, please subscribe. Croatia only started using the euro in January 2023 and the previous currency was the kuna so right now any retailer or store or restaurant has to go to the Croatian central bank to get coins so whenever we went to shops restaurants they all ask for exact change because there seems to be a shortage of change. And that's what the guy from the pizza restaurant said to us when we queried it just now. So it's very, very interesting that they haven't done so up until this point. But it is a new currency, so I guess there is some stack to be given. But you would think that all these places would want an abundance of coins so that the customer could pay whichever way they want to. Welcome to Pussy Central. One thing you'll notice about Dubrovnik is that there are lots of cats around. It's quite similar to Cyprus when we were there. There were pussy cats almost everywhere. But I've never seen anything like this. Look, they're all fast asleep and they're all gathered in the one spot. Maybe this is a hotel for cats. There's one up here and there's, look, there's one hiding. Hello. They probably think that we're crazy. Look, Paul is with the other pussy cat. Hello.
Amen.